guys it's more girl hi guys i just want to show you this piece this is not a diy just um one of my projects i did for my son recently i just finished this up what it was was this old ugly tan kind of woven side table that he got from i think an, off the street or his neighbor or something like that not quite sure what it was but it was huge it was bulky it looked like it came from early 2000s so um i said what do you want to do with that thing so he says, well, I don't know. He put it on a patio. So he says, just think of something to do. He said, just slap some like resin or something on it. I said, okay. So when I went to my Goodwill haul about a couple months ago, I got this cute little chess play piece. It's a chess game that was translucent. It wasn't that big. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't you just go do a game table and put it on your patio? He said, okay, cool. He says, as long as the colors are like just black, you know, lacquer, you know, gray and silver, you know, that's what my color theme is the only thing I ask. So I said, okay, cool, no problem. So originally, he was going to paint this white on the inside. But I said, with the translucent, frosted, and clear chessboard, you're not going to see it white. It has to be black. So what I just did was paint the whole entire table black just so I can see my idea my vision you know he said okay mom do what you want to do because he had no idea he just said black I said okay so once I painted it all black then I'm like okay now you can put the chest pieces on it as you can see you can really see the detail it sort of looks like it glows whereas the white of course it would have been lost because of the pieces so then what I did was I sprayed everything black lacquered. I got some enamel black lacquer paint from Vestolium. And I did my resin um, sort of like a swirly gray. Um, I just used the silver, gray, and black paint. He wanted to kind of drip on the sides. So I did that as well. He wanted to come off the edges. Just like that. So from there... Um, I was going to originally put the glass chessboard inside instead of the glass and just sort of have the resin cover it. But since this piece is so small, I'm like, mm, no, and you might even want to switch up games. So I decided not to do that. And besides with the woven pattern right here, the resin would have been all stuck. It would have probably taken a gallon of resin to fill that up and it could have leaked through. So I didn't want to do that. So instead, I put the glass back on. I guess it did have a glass originally. I actually used one of my old picture frames, and it fit here exactly. So what I did also was, I said, well, okay, what about the chess pieces? What are you going to do with them? Because you really don't want them in a box. You know, you want them on display. So I hauled these from Goodwill about the same time, about two months ago. And I got the smaller version that was on my bar cart, the white ones, for my lemons my limes and my olives so when i saw these i kind of just kept them in the cabinet didn't know what to do with them so i'm like this be perfect just to hold on to the pieces of your chest your chest pieces here so that's what i did and um spray this black lacquer as well very nice very shiny and i think it looks really gorgeous the black lacquer really brought out the frost and the clear of this just game table so i said now if you have any other games you want to play as well you just remove this and you can put a board game down you know i thought this was a really cool idea there's something i just wanted to show you guys real quick it's not a diy it's just you know coming out the box again and stop taking something old and making it into something sleek and modern you know, I don't care what shape it is or how old it is. It's always a way to kind of spruce it up. Because I really had no vision for this thing. He had this thing for a while. I think since last year. And I'm like, oh, it's so hideous. But again, with me, you know, you're more girl. I'm going to look for shapes. So I did like how that shape was here. And how the legs came out. It was too bulky and big to use as a side table. So I figured, hey, use it as a game table. You know, so you and your friends can hang out on your patio and play some board games. So, guys, I just wanted to show you my project for my son, my client son, I call him. 
okay all right guys this is your more girls thanks for watching this quick little um just informational this little piece and i will check you later and i will continue to bring more videos um to you guys or if you want to request anything in particular that i can do feel free to comment and leave um a message for me and i will get it you guys know i always return your comments right away as soon as i get them okay so this is your more girl thanks again for your support um for having my channel really grow really grow so i'll catch you guys on the next diy or the next haul or tablescape so i'm out this is your more girl much love guys goodbye